cash accounting or the cash basis as it's commonly called in the UK is a method of accounting that you need to understand if you run a small business. Even though your accountant might handle your tax return for you at the end of the tax year, it's still important that you understand what this terminology means. So cash accounting or the cash basis is generally most applicable to very small businesses in the UK and you're gonna come across it when you come to do your self-assessment tax return. It's literally a box on your tax return. You need to get this correct on your tax return because it affects the way you are keeping your records and accounting for things in your business. The cash basis is a relatively new thing. It came in around 2013, 2014 or thereabouts. It's designed to make your account simpler if you're a small business. It's an alternative to traditional accounting methods or accruals based accounting or gap accounting, which is generally accepted accounting principles. And it's only applicable for self-employed sole traders or partnerships. So forget about this accounting method if you're a limited company or anything like this. I'm purely talking about small businesses. As per usual, I strongly recommend that you seek professional guidance from an accountant, but this hopefully will just answer a few of the basic questions surrounding this accounting method. I'm kind of lighting the blue touch paper so you know what questions you need to ask your accountant. And apart from anything else, as a business owner, you should know this information anyway. So the cash basis is only open to you if your turnover is under £150,000 a year in the 17-18 tax year. That's actually been increased quite considerably in the 16-17 tax year. I think it was 83,000. So that's now gone up to 150,000 threshold. And there's actually an exit threshold of 300,000 pounds. So if you're midway through your tax year and it looks like you're gonna be making more than 150,000, they've extended it effectively up to 300,000, but then for the following tax year, you'd have to leave the cash accounting scheme and move over to traditional accounting. So the key basis of cash accounting is that you only record income that you've actually received and you only record expenses that you've actually paid out. That's different to accruals based accounting where you're gonna record income based on work that you've invoiced or expenses that you've been invoiced for, but you haven't necessarily paid out the money for the expenses and you haven't necessarily received the income that you've invoiced customers for. Now, one quite important point for this is that if you have several self-employment, so in other words, if you have more than one self-employed business, you have to use the same accounting method across all of your businesses. So you can't say that you're gonna use cash basis for one business and accruals basis for another. You need to settle on one type because your turnover threshold is gonna get assessed across a total of all of your businesses added up. So if you've got one business that made 100,000 pound a year and another business that made 200,000 pound a year, then you're gonna to have to do everything on the accrual space because your total turnover is already past even the exit threshold of the cash basis. And it's also important to note that certain businesses aren't allowed to use the cash basis at all. So you need to go on the HMRC website and that'll list all those different types of businesses that aren't allowed to use it. So HMRC gives some quite good guidelines of when it might not be suitable for your business to run on the cash basis. For example, if you want to claim back expenses on bank charges of more than 500 pound a year, cash basis probably isn't gonna be the best bet for you. Also, if you carry high levels of stock or have a more complex business structure, you might find that the cash basis doesn't work out very well for your business. Another reason you might not want to go down the cash basis is if you're likely to be applying for bank loans or mortgages and stuff like that, because often banks will ask for full accruals based accounts. Sometimes the cash basis isn't sufficient for that. So again, if you're likely to be applying for loans or mortgages, speak to your accountant, the cash basis might not be for you. And the other reason that the cash basis might not work for you is if you're wanting to offset any losses in your self-employment against other income. So that's quite an important one and something that I might cover off on a separate video at some point. But with the accruals basis, you can potentially offset losses against other income that you've got coming in from say employment. 
it's not quite that straightforward if you're on the cash basis. So in a nutshell, the cash basis is all about keeping records based on when you've actually received money and actually spent money as opposed to when you've been invoiced or when you've invoiced someone else. It's a more simple way of keeping accounting records and it's particularly suitable if you've got a very simple business model. So in other words, a business where you don't generally owe out a lot of money and you're generally not owed in a lot of money at any one point in time. You should consider it if you are a business that has no employees other than yourself, if you're carrying very low levels of stock and if you've got a very low turnover. So it's ideal for things like YouTubers, musicians, sole traders, you know, plumbers, electricians, that sort of thing, if you're keeping low levels of stock. But at the point where it's starting to turn into a bit of a bigger business, you should definitely think about the accruals counting method instead. It's something you need to talk to your accountant about. But hopefully I've given you enough information in this video so that you understand the basics of it. So the accrual space is, is probably more appropriate for your business if you've got a more complex business model. If you invoice customers for payment rather than accepting payment straight away, and if you get invoiced by suppliers, then you should definitely think about going down the route of the accruals basis instead of the cash basis. And also if you employ staff, if you have high levels of stock, and if you have a high turnover, these are all really trigger points points for when you should be certainly thinking of the accruals basis as opposed to the cash basis. But as I say, as per usual, speak to an accountant. You should understand enough about it now that you understand the basics and you know what questions to ask your accountant about it. And they can tell you based on your personal circumstances what's going to be the best for you. Thank you once again for watching. Pop any questions you've got in the comments. If you're an accountant, please feel free to pitch in in the comments. It's always a good little free plug for your business, if nothing else. Don't forget to give it a quick like and subscribe and share it around, and I shall see you next time. Bye.